Sandwich is with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Friday. And we're going to spend a day with me, do a vlog, see where I go, what I eat, stuff like that. Um, we'll see. If this video goes up, then it was absolutely worth going up. We are heading to the Columbus Farmer's Market, which is north of where I'm at. So we'll see. I'll see what footage I can get and show you what's there and um, something fun to do today. You just never know. All right, first we're gonna start with my breakfast. It was a goodie, it was my favorite. You get to see it. Breakfast this morning is a Thomas's Light English Muffin for two points with some spray butter, a two egg scramble with zucchini, yellow and green zucchini, peppers and onions, and I do have one Asiago Life and Cow Cheese Wedge in for one point. So my whole breakfast is three points. Look how good that looks. I mean, I actually gained a point for the vegetables, so. That cheese, it doesn't even count. <laughs> That's how you do the plan, my lovelies. All right, ladies and germs, we have arrived. Do you see that? It'll be a lot of, I think, voiceover today. But, yep, let's go in. All right, as soon as we walk into the market is the baked goods. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I just love baked goods. Uh, you'll be happy. To, I'm happy to report you'll be happy to hear I didn't buy anything. Look at the prices, though, how good for these layer cakes. Oh my gosh, I'm super proud of myself that I didn't buy anything, but they had danishes and breads and bagels oh, and brownies and I, uh, yeah, I am mighty proud that I just walked by and looked and we walked by twice. So we came up with nothing. So you said, I'm not getting it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. They had big cookies. If Timmy was home, I probably would have picked that cookie up. Look at the fall decor. Little towels. These are really cute. Happy fall, y'all. Gobble, gobble, wobble. This is an interesting market that has a lot of eclectic things and very strange things, I will say. I'll give you, there's the, the how long it is. This is the sports store. We always stop here and get Christmas stuff for the boys. They have all the sports teams in Philadelphia here, Eagles, Sixers, Flyers, and Phillies. So we always pick up some stuff for Christmas for them. It's just great variety. This is an herb store, which I, the things in here were very odd. You know, I, so I thought digestive. I never, this is fairly new since we've been here before. So I just thought I'd share. I've never heard of any of these things. They're interesting. I guess you, you maybe you make a tea out of them. I don't even know. Um, I just was, you know, I just thought it would be just interesting to show you a few things. Cause I've never seen a store like this around here. Well, I'm, I'm not actually close to home, but I've never been to a store like this. So I thought I would just share a few things. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, the leather, there's always a leather goods place. And I thought these bags were really cute. I'm looking for something for the cruise, just really, really tiny. But you know, what? I thought I have stuff at home I need to go through before I buy anything new. And this were not too expensive, but a leather good place. Steve's looking for a um, cell phone case. He goes through them like, you know, every so many months. But I thought the bags were really, really cute. And I thought the prices were decent. But again, I really don't need one. And I'm trying to be more, use what I have, even though I thought these were really, really cute. But, you know, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of, of the pricing that they have, which I didn't think was terrible. I'm pretty sure it's genuine leather, though. I didn't look for sure. Look at all the stuff. There's leather jackets, leather pants. I thought that pocketbook was interesting with the blue. Belts. Anything leather you can think of, this store has it. Look at the seafood. I mean, the crab legs. Oh, snow crab, king crab. And then there's lobster tails. Yep. Yeah. I got a hat. I needed a hat. It was only $8. I thought that was pretty cute. And we're in the Amish bulk place. Now, they did not have the black cocoa, but look at the stuff that they did have. I thought, oh, you know, I love the nuts and seeds. And they had a really good price on chia seeds. Look at the price on these chia seeds. I mean, I get mine at Nutstop, but that was a really good price. I had just gotten a, a um, an order from Nutstop, so I didn't really need anything. So you'd be happy to report that I didn't buy anything. Of course, Steve did, but I didn't. But look at that. Oh, yeah. And yeah, there's baked goods here too. And again, I didn't buy anything. My Amish market locally has all this stuff too, but I thought these things were these these fiber things. So I snapped a picture of the ingredients. I thought I might want to try to recreate them in a few weeks. Fiber delights. Yeah, I thought that brand sounded interesting. So I thought they were cool. Oh, and of course you yeah, had the peanut butter. 
Love those. Oh, little brownies with cream cheese. Come on. And this is the salads. This is where I found Steve. He was buying broccoli salad and deviled eggs, which we have as our lunch snack, which I didn't show you because I just honestly forgot. We, had, we had got a container of pineapple and some deviled eggs to have because we were having a lunch dinner at the Olive Garden, which you will see a little bit later. But yeah, look at all the salads. <gasps> A few things I, I'm looking for ideas for future recipes. Like, oh, how can I recreate this? How can I recreate that? And it all looked real. Oh. And here they have a, a um, produce outside the, across the parking lot. So we're going to head on in there. I did get a few things in there. They have cool spices. Look at the names of these spices. A few of them I've never heard of. And I'm thinking they were two for seven, which I didn't think was terrible because they're pretty big size bottles. So I thought I would just give you a little bit of a tour of the spices. I did get two, and I will show you at the end the two I picked up. You just have to see if you can guess which two I picked up before I show it. But yeah, they had a couple cool ones. They had a pumpkin cinnamon sugar I thought was excellent, but again, it was with real sugar. But it gives me an idea to make pumpkin um, monk fruit. Mix that up together, have a little sprinkle. See, that's the thing, you get ideas. Not just, just, again, things like this just give me ideas how I could make it lighter and healthier on my plan. But yeah, look at the spices. I was in spice heaven. I, I, I mean, I could have gotten, I didn't need anything, so, but I got two that I've never seen before. And oh my gosh, look at the produce. Look at the zucchini. Oh, you know I left with a basket of zucchini because I am zucchini obsessed. I mean, it is absolutely my favorite all of a sudden. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start having some zucchini just ready in my fridge. Onions, red onions are my fave. And they have beets. I didn't buy either. I didn't have the room and I didn't, you know, if I'd had the room, I would have gotten the beets, but I just, right now our refrigerator is packed. So I didn't wanna bring anything home that I wasn't gonna be able to process. Potatoes, all different kinds. I think the prices were I thought were pretty good. And oh, the citrus. I did just get lemons at Aldi, so didn't need those either. But I will show you the one thing I did get, which is coming up. Where we go around this bend, we got more lemons. I'm like, how many lemons does one store need? And there's peaches, nectarines, plums. It is the time of year in our area for peaches, nectarines, and plums. So they are in abundance. We're coming around. This is what I got. I got a bushel of these grapes. They were really, they are really, I got the red ones. And here's my lunch at the Olive Garden. Or you can eat soup and salad. Well, we can't leave this video without Bailey because why? It's National Dogs Day. You want a bun? Go okay, bye-bye. He was just out for a walk. He's a little bit tuckered. But it's National Dogs Day. So I thought I would share my favorite dog. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, he's so sweet. He's a cutie. So, yep, happy National Dogs Day to all you doggies out there. And here's mine. And this is when he's his most sweetest. When he's laying down for a nap. So happy National Dogs Day, everybody. All right. What two spices did Dee come home with? California mix. Sounded interesting. Garlic, black pepper, parsley, and cilantro. That one is a pretty standard one, but this one is a wild card and I'm really not sure about it. Sumac. I Googled sumac because I thought I never heard of it. Apparently it's an acidic citrusy spice. It's used for toppings as they say it's good. Like, if you want to put, like, instead of putting lemon juice and stuff, you could put sumac on top. She's like, why are you getting the sumac? I said, because I've never had sumac. So when one doesn't have something, one buys one, right? They were two for seven, so I did. I got that. So that, if you guess those two, which I don't think might have you, might not have thought of. I'm telling you, though, the pumpkin cinnamon sugar, or the pumpkin, I think it was called pumpkin sugar. I'm doing that. I'm going to get pumpkin pie spice and monk fruit and mix it and keep it in a little thing. Maybe because I have an extra one of these salt shakers. I may put it in there. 
See, that's the idea to get because I wasn't paying the point. Though, how much sugar am I really going to be using? To, I could have gotten it, I guess, but you know, no guilt there. So, no guilt there. And you saw my, we ate at Olive Garden around three o'clock. It was like, no, 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 it was like 2.30. Yeah, more like 2.30. Um, I love getting the soup, salad, and breadsticks. That's what I love to get. Now, should I have gotten a day before weigh-in? I don't know. I don't, I honestly, that's what I wanted. So that's what I got. Um, we had hard-boiled eggs, no, deviled eggs and pineapple. When we were at the thing, Steve got some of that. So we had that as a snack. And then we had, he'll probably eat again. By the time I'm hungry, it's going to be late. And I don't like to eat that late. So at this point, it is what it is. So that's what I ate today. When I put it in my tracker, yeah. It was 1,300 calories. Two bowls of soup. I had pasta fazool and minestrone. But I only ate half the pasta fazool. I was full. And we had two bowls of salad. Because he got the soup and salad too. And I had one breadstick. So that was four points. And my I think the pasta fazool was four points. The minestrone is two. And you gain a point back. I didn't want the minestrone. And I gained... Um, on the salad, I gained points back for the vegetables too. So point wise, it was okay, but you saw the calories. Interesting. So that is what I eat for Lunner. Steve calls it Lunner. It's lunch, dinner, Lunner. So yeah, like he might eat. I don't think I'm going to eat. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed spending Friday with me. Um, it is early. I don't, like I said, I'm not going to be eating. I don't think I am. Now I probably will. I did get a green tea from should show you that where is it hold on let's let's take you for a walk in the kitchen i don't i hate walking with i hate when people walk with the camera so i try not to do it too often but blue tea blue tea green tea flush so i'm having my green tea i had two teas with lunch got my duncan though i don't know it doesn't look green it doesn't it doesn't taste like regular tea i think it's strong so Having green tea flush too. Yeah, I sorry about walking. I don't like, I hate when people walk and film. It makes me nauseous. So if I made you nauseous, I do apologize. I should have stopped. Should have, would have, could have. But that's it. I have a, now my lower back's hurting t today. Oh, went from my shoulder, which is good, to my lower back, like right under my rib cage. Yeah, right here, right here. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is. But yeah, I just took some Motrin and a Tylenol and I'm going to maybe go in the hot shower. That sounds, see if you me in the pool, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. But we're just gonna hang out. Maybe we'll do a live tonight. Maybe, maybe a Q&A live, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see how I feel like doing. But I'm going to rest. Thank you for spending the day with me. Do you like, again, if you like videos like this, I could do them as filler videos in between my regular stuff. So let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of that. Um, Interesting farm market, kind of a, uh, I can't remember the, Columbus Farm Market, that's what it's called. And if some of you are from up that area, you had mentioned it to me before. So thanks for spending, coming with, along with me. Those cakes though, those cakes were everything, weren't they? And I came home with nothing, grapes. Grapes and zucchini, tomatoes, Steve got oranges. I thought there was something else. I wanted bananas and I didn't get them. Yeah. But that's it. So, again, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this, give them a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you like, where you'd like to see me go. Because maybe I'll take your advice and go somewhere. That's it for me. I will see you tomorrow with Weigh in Meeting Topic Du Jour. Even if I don't go to my workshop, I will definitely wait in and go over the meeting topic with you guys. Ow. So, have a great rest of your day. We will dish another day. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Join our community here on the YouTube. We'd love to have you. Truly. And don't forget, we have a fantastic Facebook group, Dish With These Crew. We are here for you. We are the sisterhood of weight loss. So come join us. And we're going to do a weight loss revolution one pound at a time. We will dish another day. Bye-bye, my lovelies.